Hello, teachers! Are you having some troubles with your demonstrations? And looking for a convenient application to be used in online class? Well, this, this video is for you! you. In this video, we will be introducing the best app that you are looking for. This app is a groundbreaking online teaching platform that enables teachers and students from across the globe to come together face-to-face -to -face and learn in a collaborative online environment. Whether you are teaching ESL, math, science, art, music, coding, or offering professional development courses. And this is Class In! Hi there! So now, I will be teaching you how to download and install ClassIn app in your personal computer in the easiest way. So let's start! First, you need to open your browser. There. And then, type eeo.cn. Enter. So, that five letters will take you to this page. See? As you can see, it is in Chinese version. And if you don't understand Chinese, like me, you just need to click this English word at the top left of your screen. <clears throat> so, click that one. And there, it is in English version. So, you can now understand what's written on your screen. Next, click this download now. There. As you can see, there's a uh, choices in the screen. And that choices will... <clears throat> matters if what kind of system you are using or what kind of system does your computer have that you ha need to download class in. So for me, I'm using Windows 10, so I choose this Windows 7 and newer. So if you if you also using that one, so just click this one. There, as as you notice, uh, it's starting to download. The app is starting to download. You just need to be patient if it is taking too long. So after after all done downloading the app you just need to open the app and install it in your pc so after installing it into your pc you can you will see this kind of icon this is the class in app so it's done it's installing in your pc now you have your own testing app in your personal computer so i'm going to teach you how to log in or to have an account so let's start Wait. so first open the class in app and then there so log in. If you already have an account, just fill in the information line, call your contact number, and then your password. And if you don't have yet an account, you can make your own by clicking the sign up. There. So this is the information you need to fill in for you to have an account. So after that, after filling all the information, just click sign up. And there, you already have your own account. So you can now log in to the class in. Now, on your due login, you will come to this page which says, Welcome to use Class In. As you can see, there are many features. So, by here, you can see these four big icons on your upper left. The first icon, we have this Class In Home button. If you click this one, you can see all the classes that you have to teach that day. So, if you see no classes, there will be no classes. Pretty simple. Now, under this button, we have the contacts. Right here, you can see the list of your um, students or the list of your friends who are enrolled in your classes. I have here my one student, Chakun Pinsamoya. Now, the next icon, we have the drive. This is where all your files are being uploaded here. You can upload your files whether to be submitted or that have been submitted by just dragging your files here. The last icon, we have this course. This allows you to see the calendar activities. And all the courses that you are enrolled to. Now, under these four big icons, we have these four small icons, but it depends on the version of your app that you have downloaded. The first icon, we have this file transfer button. The second one, which is the important um, icon here, is the Blackboard Editor. And the third one, we have the device check. And the last one is the setting. The settings page will allow you to check for updates, um, check and see if all of the functions are working properly. Now, this Blackbird editor will allow you to enter an empty classroom without students and you just have to play around with all of the functions by yourself. So, you can have your practice here before entering a class. Now, let's click this icon. And this is how it looks like. Now, you can see a classroom or what we call e-classroom. You can see here my camera, okay? That's the default position of my camera, but we can adjust or place it everywhere just like this. You can place it here. 
you can also place it here. You can place it everywhere. And aside from that, you can also um, resize the camera just like this. Now when you are going to set the camera and your mic, this is your mic, just look for these icons here from your upper right position. Here is the microphone setting and the camera setting. Now let's proceed to the most highlighted part in this Blackbird, uh, which are the teaching tools. These are the teaching tools. You know, these tools are very important and helpful when it comes to your class demonstration because you can use all of these tools. As you can see, the first tool we have here, the pointer, or just the mouse cursor. The next tool is the what we call select and move tool. So if you want to change the position of the object, just click this tool. Okay, for example, now if you want to change the position of this one, just click this tool. And here it go. The next tool we have this um, paintbrush tool. This allows you to uh, draw and sketch an object. For example, if you want to draw a circle, just click this one. Circle, that's a circle one. I mean object. How about this square? You can also hear the these dots, and these dots represents the represent the thickness of your brush. Then you can also um, choose the colors you want. Now the fourth tool, we have the text box tools. So if you want to write something or write a term or a word, just click this one. Um, let's say hello. Hello! Now after that tool, we have also the screenshot. That one is the screenshot. Then... The next tool we have this trash can. I think this tool is the trash can where you can um, delete something. If you want to erase that one or delete that one, click that objects, then click this tool. There it go. The next tool we have the laser pointer. We have for the teacher and we have also for the student. The next tool is chat box. We have the chat box where you can message here. Where you can type your message to your student. Hello class. Now the next tool we have the cloud drive tool. So this tool allows you to upload your files to be used in your presentation. So if you want to open the files um, to be used in your presentation, just click this tool. Right here you can see all the files that you have uploaded. Now the most interesting tool which is helpful to your demonstration is this tool. That is the teaching tool. Right here, you can see many features. The first um, icon, we have the load image or the word file. This tool allows you to insert pictures, insert different features. So just like in this one, you can now insert different features. Now, if you want to save this output, take for example this one, if you want to save this one, you will just click this tool, the save or share board file. And the next tool, we have the desktop sharing. The desktop sharing allows you to share your screen. Just like this. Just click start sharing. Like if you like if you forgot to download the videos, you will just click this one, the desktop sharing, um, for you to share your screen. Then it will also appear to your student screen. The next tool we have the multi-way screen sharing. This is the same way the desk desktop sharing as a teacher and as a student. The next tool we have the flash in mirror timer so this is the timer we have also the stopwatch we have also the dice the responder the slot machine this is where the students are being listed here the small blackboard selector the text which is the same with this tool a word list, the browser, the physics experiment, just like this one. Just input the URL. 
The same also with chemistry experiment. The VNC, the Apple Mirror, the Marker, and the Go Burger. So that was the pitching tool. Now the last tool of this um, of this section, we have the roster. You can see here the list of your students. You can click this page button, the authorization, which um, you can use this if you want to authorize your student to um, use this tool. The silence, the mute, the camera, rewards, device. Also, if you want, uh, if your students have question or they want to share an ideas, they will just they will just click this icon. So, if your student click this one, you can see that your students are raising their concerns. Those are the different tools in this Blackboard. Now, um, let's proceed to the most interesting part in which you have the student. Okay, say for example, I have here my student. Um, she is Jacqueline Pisamoya. Hello, Jacqueline. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, as you can see, I have here my camera and also her camera. And if I place this arrow to her camera, you can see these four icons under her camera. The first one is the authorization. The second one is the bike. The third one is for the rewards. And this one is for the downstage. So, if I am going to um, task Jacqueline to draw a cat, I will just click this authorization in order for her to draw a cat. Okay, Jacqueline, can you please draw a cat? Okay, very good. Well, I will give you a reward. So, if you have to give your students a reward, just click this one. Here we go. Okay. Congratulations, Jacqueline. You have now four rewards. And if your student forgot to and if your student forgot to mute their mic, just click this one. So that's all. This is how it looks like when you have your students. Thank you. There, you are now familiar with Class In. Now I'm going to teach you how to create the class in class in app. So let's start. Of course, first you need to log in your account to class in and then in this side of the dashboard of the class in it will show show your classes so if you want to have your own class so you just need to click this icon and create class click that one then and there so you can now create your class so first of course you need to name your class and you can also change the photo of the uh, of your class so after that you can now click this create class create class and then there you now have your own class see it shows your class here this side so now you want to of course you want to have a student so just click this class and invite your students to enter your class click this icon here at the top left of your screen click that one and then as you can see there's a class members and of course you're the only one here so you need to add a members so to add that one click this plus sign box then click that one then to your contacts of course you have your contacts so you just select uh, the students you want to uh, you want for your class or the students uh, the students you want for your class so that's one just click the students and then okay so after doing that one the they will the students will be notified that they are entering a class so there see you now have a student and that is mj so that's how you create your class and how you invite the students to your class So first, uh, click this task above, and then this one, assign task. There, you can now create your task. So, here is you can uh, name your task, example, activity 1 or activity 2, and then set the deadline. So, this uh, finishing time, because that is the deadline of your task, or when can students answer the uh, task. Then, you can also choose how many marks you want for this task. It's either 100 or 50, 30, so it's your choice, because it's your Task. And then you can also allow students to when can they view each other's um, tasks. And then here is the content or your task. So you can type here your task, or if you already have the task um, created in Word or PDF, you can just um, attach the file of your task here. 
this one just click this one to attach the file you want for the uh, students after all or filling or, or creating the class you can now confirm to assign your tasks so that's how you create a task to your class so now if you want to give the student a task after the discussion you just uh, click this task beside the task and then after that you need to click this post test below and after clicking this post test this box will appear this box right here right then where you can create the task and now you have the task so that's how you make the task now for you to have an online interactive class you just need to click this one classroom here you can set the uh this the time of your online class so like that start date is today and then it's present so here so when can you have the online class so up now then you can choose this online classroom then okay after setting the date then okay then so you have now the link for your um on your online class so to send this link to your students so just click this in link and then copy the link then paste it to the chat with your students for them to see the link of your online class so there then you now enter the classroom so now you can enter to your class so enter the classroom and and there you are now in your classroom hi mj this is my students so now you can have your uh, freely discussion and meaningful discussion. So, thank you. So, all in all, this platform is what you are really looking for. For demonstrations, assigning tasks, making examinations, face-to-face, -face, and learn in a collaborative online environment. Class In is a solution for your online class frustration. Class In, engaging students, enabling teachers, empowering education, worldwide. worldwide. <laughs>